and shine. Let's go fishing. Good morning, everybody. We are back with another video. This morning, I'm gonna be giving you guys an update on the jetty port, Port Canaveral, Cocoa Beach area. I'm at the jetty right now, as you can see. And I wanted to come back here because a couple months ago I did a video. They were doing the sand project right in the middle, taking the sand from the canal right here. And that's the Port Canaveral, all the cruise ships come through and everything. It was a mess. I mean, they were digging everything. All the barges, the big ones, couple of them. And there was no life. Obviously, I mean, the fish is not gonna stay there with that kind of noise and sand being digged, all the dirt, trash everywhere. It was a mess. So I wanted to give an update today. They are gone now. They have been gone, I think, for two weeks now I've been watching from the live camera so and hopefully you know the fishers are back and try to catch some fish let's see how we do today it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day so we'll see you out there oh that seems like a nice one I got one whiting earlier as soon as I put it on the water Carolina rig, two ounce egg. I got a nice whiting, and that's a shark, looks like. Oh no, it's a catfish. Oh man. That's not good news. But hey, we'll get it out of the way, you know? Did I tell you guys I hate catfish? <laughs> I do. Uh, top water fish. Oh, just got off. We had a top water fish on. Oh man, I saw the commotion, man. There was bait fish running around and couple fish jumping. I'm doing the two ounce spoon, the silver spoon. They're right there feeding, whatever they are. Most likely Spanish. So let's see just got off oh man well let's keep jigging i have my other stuff over there i got two rods one is the bluefish rig with the frozen mullet and i have the other one just regular pompano rig with the two on circle hook and i got the live shrimp on those with the two ounce weight, pyramid weight. And we're jigging here with the two ounce spoon. Hopefully, we'll catch some early morning top water. We just had him, got off. I think it was a Spanish. Could be blue too, bluefish. So they're feeding, that's good. That's a good sign that there's life here again. I'm really glad, man. That sand project, it really killed it here. But like I said, it's been three weeks. The project has been done and seems like life is back here again. So good to see. Oh, fish on. That's a puller. Let's see what it is. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Uh, don't tell me catfish yet. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a catfish. Ah, uh, uh, did I tell you guys I had catfish? Yes. All right, guys, quick update. It's been an hour. We missed that uh, Spanish. Almost got it. There was bait fish jumping around earlier. I got two catfish and one whiting keeper. You know, that was the first thing in the morning. 
and since then it slowed down really no bite people are fishing down there people fishing here but it's pretty slow you know compared to Sebastian Inlet the jetty there it's day and night what a difference so next time I'm gonna be going there actually fishing it's like a sea aquarium incredible you have all those species in there uh, they're all swimming the water is crystal clear you could see every single fish literally uh, swimming around here not much uh, the visibility probably like a foot two feet and that's it and uh, pretty slow I mean like I said the sand project is over thank God for that there are fish there are life people say they've been seeing kingfish as well uh, going into the jetty coming out somebody caught a, a big redfish yesterday 37 inches so there's life uh, that's why I want to give you an update I want to come over here because you guys deserve an update since I made that video you know it was a mess so you guys definitely come back here and go ahead and fish but I would suggest you come early hours before sunrise or later in the afternoon around 6 7 p.m. before the sunset and stay here a couple hours so that's the best time during the day when it's hot like this it's gonna be 100 102 heat index so the fish you know they're all at the bottom they hide I don't see nothing in the channel but I will keep you posted like I said it's been an hour and hopefully we'll catch some fish see ya. That's gonna be a fish. That's gonna be a shark. Woo! That's definitely a shark. That's the shark, man. Woo! <laughs> it's peeling it. My God. Wow, I'm gonna be out of line. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Yeah, that's a shark, man. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm out of line. Oh my god, that took the whole my entire line. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a shark. Guarantee. Oh yeah, he popped it off. Dude, that was a shark for sure. Oh my god. That was just a shrimp, live shrimp. My goodness, that thing. <laughs> A uh, stingray won't head shake like that. That was a shark. Stingray just sits. This was a huge head shake and really strong. So definitely shark. And a big one too. Like really big one. My God, it peeled the whole line. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. Okay. And we are done. Yes, sorry, Bob. We are done going back to Orlando. It was a slow day, man. Overall, bunch of catfish. One of them actually pierced my hand. It went through my hand. It kept bleeding a lot. So that sucked. Still hurts like a mother. Um, one early whiting that was pretty good. And after that, man, once the sun came out, everything was dead. So Jetty, still life there, you know, but nothing like Sebastian Inlet, man, or New Smyrna. It's total different, like a big, big difference. So if you guys, you know, on the fence, deciding to where to go, where to fish, still go to Sebastian Inlet, go to New Smyrna Inlet, you know, don't come here, man. Jetty is just so slow. The only time that I suggest, highly recommend that you guys do come out is definitely early in the morning. They open at five o'clock, so you could actually come in and just fish till like 10, 11. That's it, that's it. And after that, pack up and go. Or you could do it in the afternoon, evening time, right before the sunset. So come around 6.30, fish till 9, 9.30, and that's it, go home again. Those are the best time to fish. You will catch them. There are uh, snappers right where the pilings are. You could use, you know, live bait, little minnows. Uh, you could use live shrimp for the black drums, sheep's head. 
and you know the blues are running out there earlier you know I missed that uh, uh, Spanish Spanish mackerel so they're out there but in the early morning times so and I was using the top lures I was using the gacha lure two on spoon and that's how I got the Spanish but I got away so like I said man you know it was okay uh, all in all, I had a good time, you know, so I do appreciate you guys watching it. I just want to give you an update, see what happened to Jenny from last time I make that video. You can find that video right here, actually. I'm going to put it on the link for you guys to watch it. I was saying do not go to Jenny because of the sand project. They were digging everything, like I told you before. But no more. It's done with, over with, so you guys can go ahead and come with your family, friends, go ahead and fish, but again, early morning or later in the evening, so again, man, thanks for watching, I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, you know, I'm at 137, I'm very happy about it, I'm making my way little by little, you know, my next goal is 500 and then a thousand, hopefully. So if you guys don't mind, please do subscribe. You know, that really helps me a lot, motivates me to go fishing and make some more videos. But I will see you on the next video, man. Thanks for watching. See ya.